So you may have just picked up your Apple Vision Pro. Now luckily for you, it's a very great headset. I love this headset a lot already after using it for like two hours. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it. You should be an, you know, more than a beginner by the time you watch this video. Now luckily for you, there's not an insane amount of accessories. I think it's easier to use than a MetaQuest or any of the MetaQuests, but it's also has a lot of features and a lot of growth that needs to go for the next couple of years. So starting off with the outside, you basically have at the very top, you have your strap on the back. You have your little like head surface area right here where you can go and connect it and kind of, you know, have a little bit of comfortable feeling around your face. They make accessories for glasses and stuff that you can insert right here. You have your two buttons at the very top, your digital crown and your basically your side button. It's almost the same thing we have on our Apple Watch or AirPod Maxes. They basically put the same exact button layout on the top of these. You have your two little fans at the very top and that kind of covers it up from the you know very top side. On the front angle right here, you do actually have your particular, you know, screen. Now the screen is very cool because you can go ahead and basically just have things on the front of the display. You won't really ever see it unless you're updating your, you know, Apple Vision Pro or you're doing something else like if somebody's looking at you or if you're looking at somebody else, but it's a very cool little layout of the display. Now on this side of your Vision Pro headset, you basically have your little strap area and you have your little area where you can go ahead and extend this or make it tighter or loosen up on your particular head. So if you want to, you can always go ahead and make this thing feel a little bit tighter around your head if you go ahead and just extend it this way or this way. So you can turn it and it's actually pretty cool. On the other side, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. So we have our little Vision Pro, our little like MagSafe adapter, our MagSafe case. So our Apple Vision Pro actually uses a battery little charger to actually use this thing. That can be kind of annoying. To use that battery charger, you just plug in the USB Type-C cable on one side, you plug in the other side to a wall outlet, and then this side you actually plug in. So it was kind of an annoying process to say the least. So if you want to go and connect your battery to your Apple Vision Pro, you want to go ahead and grab that little charger that you, you know, basically came inside of the box and you want to grab it on this side. Now you want to go and match up this hole at the very bottom, kind of towards the bottom of this particular hole. So it kind of shows you right here exactly how to insert it. So if I go ahead and kind of zoom in, because it's kind of an annoying process, it was really tough for me. You basically want to go ahead and grab this one side like this and go ahead and kind of place it at the very bottom. And you kind of just want to slide it in until it kind of clicks into place like that. So I'm going to demonstrate it again. You want to start off on the side of this particular hole right here and you want to match that hole with this. So slide it, it'll basically click into place right here. And then you want to slide this thing. And then you want to go ahead and just slide this thing over from that hole to this side hole on the side right there until it fully clicks in. So when it fully clicks in, this light should blink at you. And that's basically all you have to do. Now that kind of covers up that. It's kind of an annoying process to say the least. Now at the very bottom of our headset, we have some more cameras. We also have these like speaker grills on the bottom too, which is really nice to have. They're kind of like next to our ears a little bit. So it kind of gives this cool impression. There's also like little speakers inside of this little area too. So on this side and on this side, there's little speaker grills too, which is very cool. Now the rest of the computer is built in right into this Vision Pro headset. And throughout basically the whole entire front of this glass screen, you basically have your little like, you know, cameras around this whole entire area too. So you can kind of take a look at it and go from there. Now if you want to go and take these straps off, there's buttons on the side that will basically allow you to do that. You pull on these rich things right here and this will basically come off. So you can see if you pull on these particular orange strings, you can go and take these particular, you know, little uh, fabric things off and replace it. Or you can also just slide it right back in and click it right into place. And that goes for the other side as well. And inside of the display, you can see we have our glasses. So these are basically how we view the inside. They're good to kind of clean off every once in a while if you can, if you have the opportunity to. I'd recommend cleaning these off. You know, sometimes you don't have to do it all the time, but that kind of covers it up there. Now with the actual battery case, again, it's probably best if you keep this thing in good condition. As long as you have it plugged in on one side and the other side is plugged in too, then you should be good to go and there's nothing really to worry about there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my headset on and I'm going to go ahead and basically show you via the screen recording exactly kind of how to use it at a higher level. I will tell you though a few things. One, you, I would recommend keeping this thing plugged in and using it while you're seated unless you're playing a game of some sort. And two, if you've already went through the initial process, the setup should be pretty easy. It just allows you to, tells you to connect it to a Mac or an iPad of some sort. So now we've made it to the actual headset. Now you can see basically at the front of it, you can see we basically just, I just see nothing. So you should be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. Now, for the most part, this is kind of a complicated way because I can't really explain it exactly how I'm viewing it because it looks a little off, you know, but you can see my hands and fingers and everything. Now, if you click on the digital crown at the very top that I showed you earlier, you want to go and click on it and you should be able to see all the apps that you basically have. Now, the big thing to keep in mind with your Vision Pro headset is that you do actually have to go ahead and use it via your eyes. So when you went through the initial setup, you should have already seen all the, you know, tracking that you've done before with your eyes and everything. So now what you can do is you want to look around with your headset. 
Now, when you look over a particular application, you should basically be able to see it kind of hover up, just like how it's going on my display. Now, if you want to select something, you don't blink, you don't do anything, you actually want to tap on it via your finger. So let's say I open up my particular app store, right? If I go and look over the app store icon, and if I go and just tap my index finger and thumb together, you should be able to see I'm able to click onto an application. So that's basically how you maneuver things. So this whole entire UI as well, I can go and look, I'm literally looking at the continue sign and you can see I hovered over it. If I look below it, I can see that little gesture bar and I can basically click on the continue by tapping on my index finger again. And this little pop-up comes up and all you're going to be doing is just looking at a little like pop-up or notification and then just tapping on your index finger. And that is basically how you use it. So if I'm looking at my hands right now, my particular, you know, index finger and my thumb is exactly what I'm going to be using the whole entire time. So I just click on it like this and that's how you maneuver with it. Now you can also see with my headset, if I look on the left side, I can see some quick toggles. I can see my app and games and arcade and search. So at a high level, you interact with things with your eyes and you basically click on things and drag with your index finger. Now if I wanted to go down, I would basically just hold my index finger and thumb like this. And I would go ahead and basically just look. So I'd look, you know, basically look somewhere. And I can basically just go ahead and grab something like this and basically maneuver around and change it like this. So I can grab something and kind of move and I don't have to go all the way like up above my finger. I can go and just drag it the page just like this by grabbing the page and just kind of moving up and down just like how I'm doing here. So you can do that all throughout the UI as well. So that's basically how you drag. Now you can also drag a particular you know window by looking over the gesture like this at the very bottom. I can go ahead and basically drag it by looking at that gesture and moving it around. So I can move it to the side, I can move it here, I can move it wherever I want to. So that's an option that you basically have as well. Now if you want to close out of an application, you can just look over that X button right there tap your index finger and thumb together, and then you're back into your main page. Now there are lots of applications that are going to be coming out probably very soon to your headset. So these, you know, this thing isn't feature full completely right now, but there's a couple of applications that are very cool, like Freeform, the Safari browser, Photos, Notes, App Store, Mail, Messages, you know, Keynote, and Compatible Apps. You can also grab, you know, grab it to the side and go to Files and Encounter Dinosaurs, which is a new thing, I guess. Going back to the main page though, let's go through our settings application. So click on the settings, now this page is going to come up. Now this is very similar to your you know, iPhone. If you ever use an iPhone or iPad, it's basically the same layout as that. So you can see a bunch of different things. Now if I go and look over my Wi-Fi and if I go and just, again, grab my index finger, just kind of you know move it just like so, I can go and make this thing go up, up or down. Same thing with this page. If I look at this page, I can go up and down like right here. Now on this page, if I want to, I can go ahead and basically drag this thing up and down. And there's a lot of little built-in features within Vision, the Vision OS. And I would recommend going through here and kind of going through each individual setting and kind of understanding what you're you know, kind of getting into. Now, you don't need to do this every time. And I would say if you already own an iPhone, you don't really need to tinker around with this. But if you're very new to Apple's ecosystem, there's just a few things I'd recommend doing. So all this stuff like FaceTime and controller, you don't need to modify much. The big thing is right under general. So click into your general settings by hovering over and just tapping on your next finger. Look on over here under general, and you want to go and just kind of do two things. One, go onto about and just look at the about. So I just clicked on like 10 different things. If it, you know, it's totally okay, you can just go and click on X. You can go and click back up right here. Now back into here, you'll see a bunch of things, your model number, serial number. I would recommend just keeping your eye on a few things. One, your Vision OS version. Keep in mind how, but like what Vision OS version you're currently in. Go and drag down, you can see some other information too, but just keep in mind your Vision OS version. Now, click on the back button, and you want to click on software update. Now, chances are if you're watching this, there may already be a software update available for you. What I would 1000% recommend doing is just going through and updating your headset. So get into this panel, and just go ahead and update your headset. This will not only give you new features and everything like that, but it'll also give you cool little updates going on with your particular headset too. There are things happening all the time within your headset and I'd recommend going through and basically, you know, getting access to your settings. So keep your headset up to date and that's one way to do it. Now hopping back out, if we go and look down and click on X, we'll come back into our main page. Now let's say you want to go and open up multiple applications. Well, what we can do is we can click into, let's just say we want to open up our Safari browser, which is our internet browser. We can click on it by clicking on it. And when we click on it, we'll basically get onto our browser right here. Now we can go and basically click, like look into the search bar right here. And when we do that, our keyboard's going to come up. Now it may look a little blurry, like for me it looks a little blurry, but there's, there's a few ways to interact with the keyboard on your uh, you know, Vision OS software. 
So you can either look over a key just like this, and you can go and type something in. So if I want to just type in a bunch of random stuff, I can go and do it. But if I want to, I can also open up that keyboard and I can go ahead and actually tap onto the keyboard just like this. So I can actually tap onto the keyboard just like this. So how cool is that? Like I can actually just go ahead and click on the buttons itself and it's actually pretty accurate. I think it'll get better over time. And I wouldn't recommend like actually typing on the keyboard like this just yet because I don't think it could, you know, get multiple, you know, things going on. But it's actually pretty good just for one thing, which is actually pretty crazy. So now you can go and just click onto something and just use your index finger like this to open it up. But that's also another super cool thing going on. Using a keyboard within Vision OS is actually very, very basic. And it's like a pretty cool thing. Like it doesn't really take that much time at all. So funny enough, it doesn't allow me to like actually search for anything. Okay, there we go. So same thing with the keyboard again. So if I use multiple fingers, I don't think it's that accurate. So if I say hi, every, like it just doesn't work out that well. So like I think over time it'll get better, but it's like not that accurate. So hopefully it'll get more accurate over time. But if you want to exit out the keyboard, you can also move the keyboard by looking at it and just pinching it and moving it around like this. Click on the X button next to it and then get out of there. Now you can also, like I said, drag this over to this side if you want to. You can look to a different side of your Vision OS headset and you can go ahead and basically click on the digital crown on the side of your particular Apple Vision Pro headset and you can open up a different application. So now I have the you know Safari browser here and I have the App Store here. I can go and grab this to the side and look at it this way and I can go and use my headset and do whatever I want to on this particular one. I can also look back into this one in the Safari browser. I can go ahead and like you know get access to the actual Vision Pro like this Safari browser and mess around with this. So it's very cool that I can go back into this application if I want or this application. And it's actually a super cool thing. Now you can look down again to exit out and you can look back down here to exit out as well as this one. Now if you want to, you can also go through and you know get access to the control center. And you can do that by basically looking up at a random area. You can see a little check mark come up there and you want to tap your index finger together. Now when you do that, your actual control center is going to come up. You'll see the time, you'll see your battery life and everything. Now here you can go and change your sound. You can change a couple other things. But if you want to, you can go ahead and basically get into your control center by clicking on that little screen recording toggle there or that little control center panel. And there's a lot of stuff that comes up. You'll see your control center, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. You can modify those. Your sound, you can also modify these control center quick toggles down there too in your settings. But at a high level, that's kind of how you use that software. It's super basic as long as you know how to use your fingers and kind of maneuver them around like this. It's really not that crazy of a, it's really not that hard to kind of see. Now, you can also turn off your particular headset by holding down both the digital crown and the side button that are at the very top. So you can hold down these two buttons, the force quit app, and then this slide to power off panel is going to come up right after. So you can basically see the whole entire thing that I'm looking at, and you can just slide the power off from there. So that's an option that you have there as well. So at an extremely high level, that is basically how to use your Vision Pro headset. There's a lot of good stuff going on with these headsets. They have a ton of capability and a ton of quality. And I'm so happy to kind of get access to these things. I mean, I bought it, I spent like four grand on it, but it's a very good product. I think it's going to get so much better throughout time. And if you have one, the best thing I'd recommend doing is just getting used to kind of just going around using it and then just, you know, updating it as often as possible. That's probably one of the more important things you can honestly do with this type of headset. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next